how to make soap because it's really um essential in these times to actually make soap just because it's dangerous to go out you know i don't go out anymore i'm sad so that's why we kind of need to make our own soap over here and that's and that's what we're gonna be to doing today let's see if we're successful or if we're just gonna fail which is gonna be pretty sad but let's go right into it hello this is chemist sugar kid speaking with you and we're gonna be making soap today and before we do that honestly i can't say anything with you so i can't breathe but um this is gonna have to stay on for some reason because this smells bad and let's get right into it okay guys so um before we start i need to take this off because we're in the house and we're not outside and guys please stay at your house and please be safe okay guys, so if we want to make soap the most important thing is of course the soap paste Oh yes, yeah, so can we make soap base at home? Yes. Can kids make soap base? No. Can adults make soap base? Yes. Oh okay, guys, time for true fact. Um, can you guys believe that soap base is actually made from vegetable oil or natural oil? That's a true fact right there. Okay, so almost every country is locked down. That's why we're going to be making soap base. So, because none of us can really get out because it's a curfew. So, that's why we're going to be making soap. In case we run out, we can make some and it's better. Okay, so we have officially talked about soap base and let's start making the soap. So, first thing, we're going to take a couple cubes of soap base. Um, So, I'm going to take, thank you. Uh, about one, two, and three should do it. And then we need to microwave it for about 20 seconds, but an adult should do this. Ask your parents because um, kids are not allowed to play with microwaves. So now we're going to put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and then we're going to see what it looks like. So boom, boom, and let's start. Oh yeah, that definitely melted. And make sure you're wearing gloves because this is kind of hot. Yeah, so it's all liquidy now, of course. Okay guys, yeah, so I added a bit more and now we need to stir it, then, then we can get into the fun stuff. So stir, stir, stir. And after you fully stir it, make sure you have some tissue beside you and just Put this here, and now we can get to the fun stuff. We're just picking the colors, so we can either pick blue food coloring, red food coloring, or yellow. Well, I'm personally gonna pick blue just because I feel like it's a cool color. So I'll make sure you only get um, one drop of this. Technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Technical difficulties solved. Um, yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. And then we need to take a drop of this. So um, after the technical difficulties, um, this is really difficult. Ooh, this looks nice. And um, then we need to stir it again. The new spoon, and then um, pretty sure we need to stir it. <laughs> This thing looks so cool. Yeah, um, just make sure you close this because um, you don't want this to fall and then bad things happen if this falls. Bad things, trust me. Okay guys, so this looks absolutely awesome. I think we need to put a little more color because this seems dark and this isn't dark. Yeah, um, so I added a bit more color just so it looks cooler. And this looks absolutely awesome. That's all I'm going to say. It's even super satisfying. So now we're going to add the smell just so, you know, it smells good. Then we're going to add the detail. Okay, guys, so so we're done with the stirring. We're done with the color. But every good soap has to have a good smell. And my favorite smell, personally, is the strawberry. You guys can pick whatever you want, so I'm just gonna get a drop of this. And done. And then we stir again. Okay, close this and 
Okay, guys, so because of Corona, we have to put some disinfectant. So, um, yeah, we're gonna take this and um, be very careful with this. This takes a strong sugar kit to do this. So, um, we kind of need to add this very close. They just come afraid. And then we'll stir again. And then we'll stir. And then we'll stir. And now we can pick our shape and just need to put it in the freezer and then it should perfectly be soap. So on um, which shape do you want to pick? The bear, the starfish, or the duck? You know what? I like bears. I'm going to pick the bear. So um, you kind of need to be very careful with this. And then we need to uh, slowly do this. Oh, was that just cool or was it just me? And now I've just made the cute little bear and a cute starfish. And now we should about wait four hours. So I'm just going to cut back and um, we're going to see when it's done, how it looks like. Okay, so I have officially waited four hours for both of my soaps to dry. And now let's see the results. First, with the cute little teddy bear. Oh, this actually looks way better than I thought it would look. So, it looks good. Bear goes there. Now, let's see how does the starfish look like. Um, quick intermission. Okay, intermission's over and the starfish actually looks pretty good. All we need to do is just cut the out of it and then it will look like a great thing. So starfish and bear are done. And guys, we have just made our own soap, which was very simple and it is way better than normal usual products because we don't know what chemicals they used. But for this, it's very simple, very easy, and it looks better. So to make the soap, we're using this kit, of course. Can you guys see me? Yes or no? So for the soap, this kit was used. And if you guys are wondering, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. The most important part about STEM is that we were learning something while we were playing. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice and good afternoon. And of course, stay safe and stay at home. Bye bye.